there you go. Hopefully you guys have a good idea on the pretty much the complexity, the and the pretty much overall fun that this kit is uh, when you're building it considering it does transform but here you have it on uh, all the detail of it uh, on my little uh, turntable there uh, seeing all the detail and everything like that it really is it, it is a cool uh, kit um, this one actually it seems um, a lot less uh, flimsy than the original uh, RG Zeta, uh, which I will ha have displayed now, uh, which you can actually see. Uh, you have the regular Z Zeta right here, and then you have the white Zeta right there. Uh, obviously, <laughs> uh, besides the color schemes, they actually the mold, the way every all the parts fit together, they seem more sturdy and fit better on the new one rather than the older one. It could be Bandai slightly tweaked some things when they're making this one. Uh, I'm not sure, but this thing does come with a lot of plastic. Um, all this plastic is left over uh, from the uh, Zeta. Actually, there is still even more in some in the box. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of extra plastic in this box. Uh, enough, actually, really, to build two Zetas. Um, so, but other than that, the parts feel tighter, the joints feel better. Overall, the kit actually feels oh, feels a slight improvement over the like over the, over the original release. Uh, so if you can, I would say definitely pick this one up. I do like the uh, the white, gray, and pink color scheme actually more. It's a little bit more striking, uh, and it definitely sets it uh, itself apart from the rest of the Gundams in Gunplay in my collection that are not my custom ones. So let's, uh, let's get down to what this actually kit will look like once uh, I put a little bit of TLC into him, uh, panel lining, putting some decals on him, and uh, yeah, overall making sure he looks the best he can be. Here is Zeta 3 all deckled up and pretty much all pretty much finished. Um, I have panel lined him. I have put on both the special de decals and the normal decals that come with the normal Zeta. Um, this thing, of when, once everything is put together, looks amazing. As you can see, it really, it really pretty much packs a punch on how detailed and how amazing this thing can look. Um, <laughs> you can see some of my hands from the thing. Uh, this guy is a definite pickup if you can. Uh, even the GFT version that came out last year, uh, last November, uh, that was a pretty much a free release of this kit. Uh, Basically, if you can get this guy, definitely get him. He is a definite pickup, I would say, over the normal Zeta. Um, if you can, if you have the means or anything like that, buy one of these and then uh, buy just the frame for the regular Zeta because you pretty much have enough parts to get both of them, to make two of them. It's just, well, obviously, one wouldn't be in the original colors. It's just, you'll have two Zetas for the price of one, pretty much. So, uh, I cannot recommend this guy enough. Um, I haven't transformed him yet, mostly because he just looks too good. And uh, I'm sure he's going to look 
amazing when transformed. Uh, if you want, I can transform them. Just let me a, a comment uh, below and let me know if you want me to transform him or not. Uh, so, as I said, you can see how good he looks. The detail on these decals are amazing and looks like it's always been part of the kit and not actually just a smat. Uh, a bunch of decals everywhere. So, uh, articulation is the same. Uh, the head obviously is a little bit on the uh, limited side. Let's see, actually, let me show you really quick. So, okay, he can look up that much. That's it. That's as much as he can look up. And then he can look down that much. Pretty much he's not really looking down at all. He's just looking straight on. Uh, and then he can look to side to side that much. That's as much as he can do it. And then that much on this side. I don't know why. Actually, okay, same difference. Okay, I was just caught on some. Um, but yeah, he can't look up or down very far. Uh, but it still looks good. I think it's just mostly because of the transformation and how it needs to do it. Uh, so, but overall, great kit. Articulation in the arms is the same. I can go all the way up. I can do a th full 360. Uh, I'm using the stock. It's, it's bicep swivel 360. Um, double hinged elbows. Um, articulation at the wrist. It's the ball joint. Uh, the fingers are articulated. Uh, they are the. I actually ha currently have the fixed hands, so he can actually hold his weapon because he cannot hold his weapon with the RG articulated hands with it. So he cannot hold his weapon at all. They look cool, but they still can't hold up. So. Uh, knees are the same. They have much more articulation because of the transformation. Uh, they can do that. Normal, normal Gundams can't do that. Um, oh yeah. Uh, ankle tilt, they can also do these, these feet can, uh, do a close up for the transformation. Um, but yeah, he has ankle tilts up, down, more down than up. And he has a waist swivel. For him, and then twist at the legs and everything. Same RG articulation, really, really nice. Uh, and I cannot recommend this guy enough. Even if he has, he only has, even if he has minor issues, but still, pick this guy up. He is a hundred percent worth it. Um, I am. I enjoy the build, uh, quite, quite a lot. Even if he is kind of finicky, but I still enjoyed him. So, so uh, I don't really do number ratings uh, here, but I would say, in a scale from meh to from a scale from stay away to definitely get this kit. As I said, definitely get this kit. So um, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button on there. Like this video, please uh, share it with your friends. And until next time, guys, keep building and keep playing.